modern stamps are fun decorative stitched stamps that can be used to embellish fabric or an embroidery design. Let's create some snowflakes for this design. If you open the reference manual and go to the appendices, open up that chapter and go to pattern stamp run and fill samples, the reference manual shows you pictures of all the different stamps that are available. In addition, if you want to stitch samples of the stamps, go to your embroidery library, select Bernina 8 Embroidery Designs, and there is a reference folder that has all your pattern stamps. And these are ready to send to the machine to be stitched out so you can create a sampler of all the different stitches that are in the software. Let's choose a pattern stamp and add it to this design. If I want to see the way these stitches actually are going to look when they're stitched, I can click on the Show in True View, and the designs are shown in actual stitches. And I can scroll then to find the stamp I want to use, select it, and click OK. Pattern stamps are created with two left clicks. And if you want to rotate the stamp, you'll move your mouse before clicking the second time. Also, if you want to change the size, you'll hold down the Shift key and drag before clicking the second click. So I'm going to click to set the stamp, and I'm going to make this a little bit larger, and I'm going to also rotate it. So I'm holding down the Shift key, rotating, and then I'll click to set the stamp. Now to set another stamp, I can go to another area in the hoop and click, and once again, hold down the Shift key if I want to enlarge the design and stamp. If I'm done using a stamp, I can press Escape, and then I can go back to my pattern stamp, and I can choose a different stamp. This time we'll go to the embellishment category and choose stamp 605, click OK, and I can set my stamps again the same way. If I hold down the Shift key and drag out, it's going to make the stamp larger. If I drag in toward the center, it will make it smaller. Once I'm finished, I'll press Escape. Now you'll notice that the software created the stamps with this color. And that is the last color used in the design. But I can edit the color. I'll hold down the Control key and select all my stamps and change them to a different color. And then I am ready to save the design and send it to the machine. You can also create your own stamps, and you'll learn that in another video.